Hello, this is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at intersecting chords and prove that the product rule is correct. All right, let's start with a diagram. Okay, what I'd like to do is be able to prove the chord product rule. Okay, what does the chord product rule says? It says if we've got two intersecting chords, and I do have two chords here because I got endpoints in the circle. Here, this one has endpoints in the circle. If I have intersecting chords, then I know the pieces of this chord multiplied together equal the pieces of this chord multiplied together. So in other words, I know, according to the relationship, that AE times CE has got to be equal to the BE times DE. And I'm going to prove that this relationship is correct. So in other words, the product of the pieces of this chord is equal to the product of the pieces of this chord. Okay, how am I going to do it? All right, well, first of all, there's a few things that I have to draw on this diagram to make it more evident. So I'm going to draw a segment here, which is a chord. I'm going to draw a segment here, which is a chord. Uh, okay, so you're going to have to accept that I've got arc AB. Opposite arc AB is an inscribed angle. What's an inscribed angle? And it's an angle that has its point, or the vertex, on the circle, and the sides of the angle are chords of the circle. Okay, so I basically have this intercepted arc created by this inscribed angle, this angle right here at D. All right, well, it turns out that opposite arc AB is another inscribed angle over here. Since these two angles have the exact same arc that it, they intercept, then I know that these two angles have to be equal. There's a rule that says if you have an arc, you divide it by 2 and it's equal to the inscribed angle. Likewise, if I take this arc, measure of this arc, divide it by 2, I'll get that. So they have to be the same, because this is staying the same. Half of it's going to be the same no matter where you're on that circle. All right, likewise, let's take a look at arc CD. Opposite arc CD is angle B. Angle B has got to be half of the measure of this arc. Uh, okay, whatever this arc is, half of that has to be equal to this inscribed angle as well, which meets this arc. Okay, so arc CD is met by inscribed angle here at B and inscribed angle at A, so therefore they're equal. Uh, not that it's necessary, but I do know that this angle is congruent to this angle because they're vertical. So anytime I have two triangles, and I know that all their angles, all the corresponding angles, are equal between the two triangles, I know that these two triangles are similar. Anytime I have similar triangles, I know that their sides are in the same ratio. Let's talk about which triangles are similar. That's actually an important part about this problem. So I know that triangle ADE is similar triangle BCE. Okay, I almost got ahead of myself, but that means A matches up with B, D matches up with C, and E matches up with E, of course. Okay, so now that I know that those two triangles are indeed similar, I also know that the sides, corresponding sides, have the same ratio. So I know that AE is going to have the same ratio as BE. Okay, so in other words, these two have a certain ratio, AE to BE. Okay, so those have a certain ratio. And that ratio is going to be equal to DE to CE. Okay, I know that they're going to have the same ratio. And anytime I've got two equal ratios, which is called a proportion, I know that I can solve this proportion by cross-multiplying. Okay, I'm going to take AE times CE Okay, and I'm going to multiply by, or also, I'm sorry, I'm going to multiply these two together, BE Okay, if I could write the multiplication symbol, BE to DE and I know that those two cross products are equal. So this cross product and that cross products are equal. And you can see that I have proven that this relationship is indeed correct. 
Okay, so the relationships are the same, and I definitely know that this product rule for intersecting chords does certainly hold true. Okay, make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our other instructional videos, interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons. Take care.